<laughs> Ooh, tricky. Tricky. The idea with this one is you're supposed to put the gear on it and then turn it round so that it sort of moves but doesn't fall off. And then that you've got a the ideal position is about there. And then it's going to have a gravity to pulling it down and it won't fall off as well. When it falls off, it doesn't matter because it's going to be held on. And for the kid playing with it, he can put it on the inside and have a bit of fun too. So this was um, an interesting toy that I picked up in 1980. And it's from a case full of 1980 toys. That's something I've never seen done since then. So it's an original concept. Some of these toys, you always feel they ought to be carried forward and improved and added to. But this one never has. So it's, um, it's interesting that they can do something like that. 1980 is my target, and just about half a dozen toys from this period. This is a real charmer. I'm sort of feeling it might even be a bath toy. It's a crocodile, and it's wind up, and it reflects on the Peter Pan story by J.M. Barry because it's got a, a watch it's following. It's trying to swallow this watch. To wind it up, you simply pull it out, and that's pulling on a spring. And now he's ready. If I hold up the watch a minute, he's going to have a gobble at this thing, put it, close his mouth, he's now going to gobble the watch up, here we go. Well, that's nice, he's only game. You ready mate? Here we go. Yes, very nice, very satisfying. Must try it in the bath sometime to see if it actually will do all that in the bath water. It looks as though it's one of those plastic motors, so it might be a bath for the kids. So, a nice design that. Never seen it before or since, and certainly has shades of uh, the Peter Pan story, isn't it? With Captain Hook and the watch swallowed by the by the clock. <laughs> Here's a toy. Shh, you're not supposed to have one of these, but uh, well, you can't sell them anymore. But it's 1977, although I bought it in 1980. Long Crane in Broxton. It's one of those wonderful mazes with a piece of mercury, which is poisonous. Um, moving around inside. I had a lot of fun playing with that at laboratories at chemistry and the rest of at school with Mercury, but it's, um, it's uh, not in toys anymore, not since about 1985, I think it was. Moved on. This is a very interesting outdoor toy or for the garden or the beach. It's, um, it's, it's a blue ball which kids can throw back and forward, but you're supposed to catch it not on the hand, but with this C here. It's got a big sucker on it. When you put on it, Nothing happens because there's a hole in here and it stops the vacuum. But put your finger over there, your thumb rather, and then push it in and it holds it very firmly. Let go with your thumb and it drops. So you hold it. Your friend who's standing a few yards away from you on the lawn or on the beach has got one himself. You throw it across. You've got to do that action which you, as you throw it, you've got to release it with your finger. He catch it, catches it on his one. Ooh, yeah, put my finger in the right place. There we are. And he'll catch it and he'll throw it back to you. I can't really do it back and forth. I should be able to learn to do that, but there we are. But over a, a period, over a distance of a yard, a yard or two, when you've got time to see, you can see it coming, you can put it on, pop with the thumb over, and it'll hold it. I do find with the, 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 the seam line there, does some, somehow interfere with the... That's, yes, it, it, it releases the vacuum a bit too early because the air is leaking through that seal there, so it's best to catch it somewhere like there. And that actually holds on for quite a long time and then falls down when you release it with your hand. So that's a very original idea for a beach or lawn toy for kids. And um, never seen it before, have you? Never seen it since either. So these inventions just pour out, don't they? Wonderful stuff. The last item is, um, <laughs> this is a bit of fun. It's some, it's a card deck machine. I've got a few cards here, I haven't got a whole deck. But when I'm dealing with cards in a game, I'm gonna do one for you, one for you, and one for you, and one for you. But according to the manufacturer of this little object, you don't need to bother with that. It's too tiring to lay. You put it in the machine, it's got batteries in, in the base, and it whoosh, pushes them out. The trouble is, it's so chaotic, it's impossible to do one for you, and one for you, and one for you, and one for you. They just come out at such a rate that they go everywhere. So I think this is more like um, a joke rather than a practical thing to help people playing cards for the evening. Let me demonstrate what. To turn it on, you simply push the button and then... I mean, how can you deal with that? <laughs> you can't. It has to be... It, it has to be given as a joke. Oh, hang on, there's one more there. Ooh, and some more.
Yeah, I think that's a lot. I haven't done a full deck, but it does take a full deck of cards, put them in, push the button, the wheel splurs them out in such a mess it's quite impossible. You've then got to pick them up and start all over again, dealing by hand. I was left with one final thought to make it even more jocular, and that is to put in one of those what they call waterfall decks, which you may be familiar with. This is a magician's trick. It's cards that have been joined together by cords, so it hangs like that. I quite fancy the idea, if it could be done, and these cards are actually too big to do it, also they're being so arranged they come out sideways, but to have that with uh, like almost like a stream coming out of it, of all the cards joined together would be a, a fantastic effect. So any magicians out there looking for a new effect, think of combining those, which probably are still available, with a waterfall deck, and you might have, you might be on a winner. Well, we'll see what you think, it's a bit of fun. But this is all 1980s, where 1980 itself, and 81, where I find really quite some inventive toys, all pre-chipped too. <laughs>